Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Friday. It's one o'clock. Um, I did get off of work early, so I am home now. Um, I am wearing a hoodie because here in South Texas, it's chilly. Well, for me, it's chilly. 69 degrees outside and I am loving it. It was warm this morning when I went to work. It was just pouring really bad. Yeah, so then it became really humid. But just right now, getting home, it's nice and chilly outside. So I am going to take advantage of this weather. But I wanted to show you something that I got. I still can't fix the settings on my camera where when it's dark, I can, you it's brighter for you guys. I don't think this camera even has those settings. But let's open up the blinds so you can see. I got something new for the house. And I've been wanting something like this for the longest time. I was fine with what I had, but this is what I have now. Let me show you. Let me turn the light on. Oh. So this is my new furniture piece. It doesn't come up really good on the camera, but it's dark wood. And it's real wood. You know what? I'm going to show it to you on... Okay, this is better. I wish this quality, I wish I can see this on my camera. See how bright it is with the light on? And it's a full fireplace. So it has settings, it comes with a remote, it lets out heat, and then you can change the flame colors, which is pretty cool. I liked it. Um, it's really pretty, I liked it. I, I, like I mentioned, I have been wanting to get something like that for the longest time. And I finally caved in and said, okay. Because I was using this. Let me show you what I was using. I was using this, you see it? It was like a buffet table. So I had the buffet table there right underneath. I had the, the, what, the coffee table. And that I've had for years. And it's crazy how I got it too. It was sent to me. I don't know, it was weird. It's been that long. I've had it for like a little over 20 years. So it was time, so I eventually caved in. So I'm gonna work on lunch right now. I'm gonna do something really simple for us. Um, I've had this ground beef defrosting for a, a couple days already. So I wanna make some pica de, uh, picadillo, okay? So I already got my picadillo going. I didn't record myself making it because I actually have a video of this and it's like, it's out there. So here it is. It's already 1.36. I have my coffee, I, I made some coffee. See, I'm using my fall cups. Now I'm gonna go sit down and relax for a little bit. Let's see, let me go ahead and tell you what my plans are this today. That way you know if you should exit out or not, or it might be interesting. Um, so I'm making lunch. I am gonna work on doing a meal plan. A meal plan and my grocery haul. My grocery haul is now like on a weekly basis or like every three days or something. I, I'm trying to avoid doing the whole full grocery haul because I noticed that I waste a lot of food. As you saw in my after work vlog, I just, yeah, anyway. So, but there are two things I am working on. I am working on finding a new fall recipe. So I have these, and I mean desserts, so. And not more, and I don't mean fall recipe. I mean more like, a something sweet because fall recipe to me I feel has to incorporate like pumpkin or something right I don't know so I have this cookbook you see it it's four books in one it's a Hershey's like dessert book I got this for Christmas last year and I'm interested I want to check it out I mean I've looked through it but I want to make something out of this so I'm gonna be looking at that um, I do have this other book. It's a secret restaurant recipes. And, and um, I've kind of glanced at it, but I've never bothered to like really look into it. Like look at the details of the recipes and stuff. I kind of just scan through it. As you can tell, I have all my post-its that I found interesting just by the title. So I'm gonna go work on that. Lunch is here simmering. So that's going to be lunch. Whoever wants to eat it, it's there. What else? What else did you say we had to do? 
We need to go to Home Depot. It'd be more like he's gonna go to Home Depot, but we'll see. Do that. Oh, and because of the weather, the way it is, I will be making some caldo tonight for dinner. That's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so everybody's trying my apple pie. <laughs> I made this apple pie a week ago, and this is what's left of it. You will see that video because I, I barely added the ending clip to it because I forgot to totally show you guys how it came out last week. How is it, Mom? Like it? Very good. <laughs> it's good, right? I mm -hmm. actually do like it, and I don't eat sweets as often. So it's 620 and somehow this man convinced me to come. Well, no, I know how he convinced me to come to Lowe's was to buy me some Starbucks. We're here to buy conduit. He's going to the ranch tomorrow with my father-in-law and my son. They're going to go what are y'all going to do at the ranch tomorrow? Run some electrical lines. You're going to go run some electrical lines. I say it like I know what he's talking about. <gasps> cafe mocha. A grande cafe mocha with an extra <coughs> shot of espresso. All right, so it's, it's 7.47. We just got home. Went to Lowe's. And then we went to Starbucks. Picked up McDonald's for my son. Oh, and we went to H-E-B to pick up the stuff to make the caldo. But I'm gonna clean this mess. See, I haven't cleaned it up since lunch. So I'm gonna start making my caldo. Now, you can easily make caldo for just two people and you can buy one of these. This is enough, like, like to me, that's too much cabbage for me and my husband, so I'll use half of that. The carrot, I'll use one carrot. Um, I'll use half the zucchini, the potato, of course, and the onion, um, and the celery. So you can make it for two people. You just buy one of those bags. And then here's my chicken, my chicken drumsticks. There are five pieces in here. I would do two per person, but I'm just gonna go ahead I know it's like, why not make all five, but I'm just going to make four, and then the other one I'm going to freeze. It's really easy. Caldo's really easy to make. So I am going to use this little bitty pot. We're going to get the chicken boiling first. Okay. Get the chicken boiling first. I do have a video on this where it's actually very step-by-step, step, very thorough. I'm gonna put this on this side. Now, I had a really ugly comment on my caldo video that somebody said, wow, that I'm cooking it too high, that it's boiling really fast. This side of my stove is called a power boil. It heats up the quickest, which is my favorite side, and it can get to a boil really, really fast, so. It doesn't mean I am cooking it on high, but once it's on the boil, it just just keeps going. There are times I have to actually move it off when I make other foods. It just comes to me so natural to make. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna get my onion going. Now, I'm just gonna go by what's in the bag. So this is not going to be like true to recipe or like true like on my video. So I'm just going to use what I have in the bag. It's just something I'm, we're just making. My food is still going. The chicken is still boiling. But I went ahead and finished everything that I needed to do. So I was going to plan in my planner, but looking at my calendar, I don't have anything going on next week. It's literally work and come home. The only thing that I do have something coming up is that my son will start going back to school for band practice only. He still does the whole virtual learning from home. So I meal planned for the next week. I'm finally going to make my enchilada videos for you. It's crazy. 
I know I mentioned it a few videos back, probably a month ago or so. I was gonna make enchiladas and I was gonna make a video for you guys, but I had missed an ingredient in my grocery haul. So I was like, nah, it's okay, I'll just go buy it. No, that ingredient I could not find nowhere. Like, nowhere. I mean, Amazon was selling it for like 30 bucks. I was like, so apparently, everybody was miss wanting that ingredient. But I was able to find it, and I bought two packs. So I will be doing that tomorrow. And then Saturday, I've been defrosting a brisket, like half a brisket. It's bloody, but one of these small packs. Um, that I'm going to throw into the crock pot on Sunday and just make like brisket sandwiches. And then for Monday, I'm going to make chicken fajita bell peppers. Like fajitas inside the bell pepper instead of a tortilla. And then Tuesday, I'm going to make grilled chicken with avocado, like pico de gallo. And then um, Wednesday, we're going to have breakfast. Wednesday, I've decided that Jason has to make dinner and it has to be easy for him. So breakfast it is because Wednesdays, I get out of work late. Wednesday for that and then Thursday I'm gonna try that new Big Mac salad I don't know if you've heard of it it's been circulating like on TikTok and everything apparently it's a thing so that is my menu plan for next week I have my grocery list found a recipe in this book this book I actually found it at Big Lots guys so I am gonna make this next week on Friday I will vlog next week on Friday so you guys can check it out um, it's not my recipe and if it's good maybe I'll show you guys a, a detailed video but it's really simple me actually reading the way to make it but it's gonna be spicy crispy shrimp you see that how that looks and these are recipes from restaurants this is from inspired by bonefish grill I've never even heard of that place it must be somewhere like in from a different state so I'll be making that next week on Friday I didn't include it in my meal plan because it's since it's fresh shrimp, it'd be something I go buy after work. Um, and then for my dessert, I did find something. Oh my gosh, I think my teeth started hurting just looking at all these pictures. But I did find something. I want to try making these. They're called Holiday Red Raspberry Chocolate Bars. You see? Can you see that? They look really good. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. I'm gonna make that. And I have a bunt pan that was gifted to me last year and I've never used it, never have used it. So they actually have bunt cake recipes in here. And this was called chocolate lemon marble cake. So this is it. So I wanna try that. So that's my goal this month. The rest of this month, you know, it's just something I kind of want to incorporate baking into, you know, because I cook more than bake. I don't have the patience to bake, but I'm going to try it. So that's that, guys. I was able to knock all that out. I wanted to do all that. So let's check my food here. I'm going to put away my stuff. And I'm going to put this on my wall calendar right there. I'm going to do this. I won't bake this week. Baking has to happen during the weekend. I have no way in hell I am going to bake during the week. So, I bet you want to cook lately. Imagine baking. So, just keep out for those videos. I will share it with you guys in a vlog. We're going to serve ourselves up some caldo. I have some limes cut here. I don't have tortillas, which is fine. We're just going to eat it. Just to show you. So I'm gonna put some rice in it. Okay. I always
always has to be a big bowl. So, and this is just enough for two people. Okay. It's a great dinner. It's not hard at all. You don't have to cook it for a whole crow. Oh, it's really hot. So, let's get. I like to take off the chicken. I like to just scoop it up with each bite. I cut up the carrot to put the bite in there with the chicken. It's hot. So we're going to have our late dinner. And thank you guys for watching. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.